Hello, everybody. This is Lee, the Tap Out King from. And where are we exactly? Well, guess what? This is the. <coughs> this is where I train. This is where I get all the UFC stuff and all my wrestling done and everything. So, I call this. The Tap Out King Dungeon. Oh, look, there's Frosty the Snowman to beat the shit out of. Ha ha ha. But me, I am the Tap Out King. And you're probably wondering, why, Lee? Why did you go from Alex Payne to the Crumpster to Omega to Chris Chaos to whoever and whoever? Well, let's just say with those characters, I had to do stuff that they wanted me to do. Let's talk about that for a minute. Let's talk about how all my characters was controlled by the man. Now, Alex Payne, of course, was a guy that was cuckoo, crazy, and just out to like, get you like the goddamn boogeyman. And your fans loved him. I appreciate that. And there was the Trump story. He's just a normal old guy having fun. Laid back, cool. All that good stuff like that, yeah, you know? But then, you know, the the guy didn't like that character, so I had to change it up again. You know, like the way I was doing that. And then there was Omega. He was pretty much like just a straight up asshole, worse than Mr. Anderson. <clears throat> He made Mr. Anderson look good, let's just say that. And uh, they didn't like that either, so they pretty much edited everything I said and they cut out all the good stuff and the interviews I said. And there we go. What else happened? What else? And then uh, Chris Chaos. Chris Chaos was another asshole that just beat the shit out of everybody for no fucking apparent reason. And do whatever the fuck you wanted. And I pretty much they didn't like that either. So I've been going from company to company to company to company to company, trying to find somewhere where I'd be able to go. I couldn't go nowhere. Nowhere. No one would take me. So I decided to make a return. Now, I'm not gonna lie. My girlfriend which I love. I love you, baby. I love her dear to, to me. She's dear to my heart. And, uh, she helped me come up with this name. Um, because she, her, her name is Ashley Sofi. And, uh, so I was like, I gotta come up with a cool name, something like that. So I came up with Lee, the Tap Out King, Crumb. And I started watching and training UFC style. And I start getting my wrestling back and everything. I start getting a little more beefier. And I just started going hardcore. And then I combined wrestling and UFC together. And you could see in my match that I am like a combination of like a high flyer, speed, strength, submissionist. I should, and, and all that good stuff like that. I'm pretty much an ultra weight, if you might as well say, if I can say. Um, reason I waited for so long to come back. It's a good question. I wanted to wait for the right opportunity to come back, and it felt good last week to come back and just take out Triple X. There's Triple X 
and his gang with Iron Eddie always liked to kick and gank my and gank me a lot. So you know what I did? I pretty much just dominated that match. Yes, you got a couple shots and whatever, but I dominated that match. And then you saw my pain walk. And then he tapped out. Like the hat says. Tap out. Uh, I know I've earned a lot of people's respect in the back. Don't get me wrong, I really respect that. It is cool. But if you are smart about this industry, you should know that, yes, it's cool to have friends, but you'll never know when they'll stab you in the damn back. So, thank you all for whoever respects me. Uh, I know Leon Slate said he did, uh, even though I just came back. I know I'm a new guy and everything, and I respect that. And I respect him too. I've watched him wrestle for the longest of times. And he's a good wrestler. He's really good at what he does. And uh, I know he has respect for me because I've seen his interview and he says he has respect for me and whatever. Um, and I do too. I have respect for Leon, honestly, too. And I do got to say this also. I hate to say this. It pains me to say this, but uh, even though I don't like the guy, I do respect him as Iron Eddie. But wasn't it so great just to see me go, are you okay, Richard? <gasps> yeah, that, that felt good, didn't it? I, that felt like freaking me taking old Lassie out into the back and then pulling the trick. You guys liked that, didn't you? Because I know I sure did. And now I watched his interview too, crying and whining about his little boy, Triple X, that I shattered his shoulder or whatever. You know what? I'm putting everybody on B Y E W on notice not right now. I'm not kidding. I put a move on you, I might let it go, but when I want to end it, the one move you got to look out for is my pain walk. And when I walk that in, and I got the body scissors on you, I'm not fucking kidding. You either tap, and if you don't tap out, I'm going to fucking snap it. You understand me? And then you have no fucking choice but to tap because it's broken. You fucking understand me? Because Lee the Tap Out King Chrome, a lot of people like. They like all my other things, but the man ain't gonna bring me down on this character. Oh no. Because now I'm able to be myself. I, can, I don't have to hold back from anything. And I love it. I can be myself, I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I did hear there's a four on one elimination match. And if I win this match, no, I'm sorry. When I win this match, I move on to a triple threat match for both the BYW Heavyweight Champion, oh, sorry, the BYEW Heavyweight Championship and the BYEW Championship and a triple threat match for both belts. You know what? I know it was announced last week when, during uh, the interview of Leon Slate. And I know that freaking that little that little girl. I heard that he was freaking out like a little bitch. Wee wee wee. God, I hate more crybabies. It's all I know he is is a crybaby, a very old crybaby. That's why I was trying to rock him, rock Triple H to sleep, but he interrupted me when I was singing, so, you know, I don't know. I 
and uh, I'm just telling you guys right now that you are looking at the guy who's going to be the first ever to hold both the heavyweight and the heavyweight and the the BYW the yeah BYEW excuse me heavyweight and BY the BY E W champion uh, simultaneously. And whoever my opponents are for this four on one match, be prepared because I got a little surprise for all of you. <laughs>